seeing these two waters become gold medal means a lot to me personally. I grew up in southwestern Colorado in the town of Montrose, and so it's uh, streams that I've fished as a kid and, and now um, as an adult. And it's just amazing to see the quality fisheries that we have here. Today we're on the banks of the Taylor River, just upstream of the Gunnison River in southwestern Colorado, just north of the town of Gunnison, about 15 minutes, and we're here to celebrate the Taylor River and the Gunnison River, our two newest waters to the gold medal program. The gold medal program with Colorado Parks and Wildlife showcases our most elite fisheries throughout Colorado. Our biologists do surveys in the stream, and so in order to meet gold medal standard, it must meet 60 pounds of fish per acre, and then also meet 12 fish, individual fish that are 14 inches or greater. We estimate numbers of fish within a reach and the amount of biomass or pounds of trout within a water by electrofishing. We use electrofishing to work through a reach, collect fish from the stream, weigh, measure those fish, and return those to the water unharmed. We have sampled the Gunnison and Taylor Rivers quite a few times in the last 10 years. And uh, we see continued good numbers of quality sized trout and abundant trout. Our gold medal designation starts just west of the town of Gunnison at Twin Bridges or Highway 50, extending up to the town of Almont on the Gunnison River, and then continuing upstream on the Taylor River to Taylor Park Reservoir. Well, I think anglers will see a variety of sizes of fish in the river um, up towards Taylor Park Reservoir. It's a tailwater fishery and so there's a good food production there. Um, we have shrimp that come out of the reservoir and feed the fish, so the fish are generally bigger up in that reach, um, more pool habitat but I think throughout both the Taylor River and the Gunnison, you'll catch a variety of sizes of trout. Uh, it does take quite a bit of work to get fisheries to this standpoint. Just the habitat that goes in it, the monitoring of the fisheries, uh, making sure our regulations are appropriate and we're not getting too many fish harvested and a lot of things that go into just making sure that the, the system's healthy. I'm pretty excited to be able to announce these two waters into our gold medal program. Um, it's an achievement that came about by a lot of work by a lot of people over a number of decades. We had uh, partner organizations to help with the water flows, releasing water flows during critical times for the trout, and then also doing habitat improvement on the, on the stream to make sure there were, have good habitat for all life stages of the trout. Dan Brower, aquatic biologist out of the town of Gunnison, has done a lot of work on this river, um, both coordinating habitat improvement, but monitoring the fishery within these river systems and uh, he's been a he's a veteran biologist in southwestern Colorado and a great part of Colorado Parks and Wildlife and certainly he deserves a lot of credit for uh, this gold medal designation. The Gunnison and Taylor rivers have really met the gold medal standard since about the late 1990s and significant work went into maintaining conditions on the Gunnison and Taylor rivers to allow those fisheries to continue to persist. The Gunnison and Taylor rivers really represent a successful conservation story with lots of partners that have made this fishery what it is today.
I think that gold medal designation, again, is a significant conservation success story, and I give credit to those before us that helped set the stage and pave the way for the designation that we're enjoying today. These are incredibly productive cold water fisheries, and again, they, this didn't happen by accident. There's a lot of folks that um, worked hard to ensure that these were great fisheries uh, into the future, and we should continue to just foster that stewardship ethos so that we can continue to maintain these for future generations. With the human population growth in Colorado is expected to come a concurrent increase in the intensity and duration of use on gold metal waters in Colorado. So I think it's extremely important right now for all water users and conservation minded people, including anglers, to view these incredible resources through a stewardship lens. And I strongly encourage all of us to evaluate how we can contribute to the long-term conservation of these waters and how we fit in as stewards of the land and the river resources. The gold medal designation is certainly something that um, we're locally proud of and the Gunnison Valley has always been very supportive of wildlife conservation issues and we hope to continue that relationship moving forward.